everyone, this is Kenny and today I'm going to talk about running the Silverline into the Architect software and also using it as an audio interface. So all Silverline series works with the Architect software. But the thing about the standard and the special is that it doesn't have a mid control accessible on the faceplate. So if you want to get in control of that, you need to get into the Architect in order to control the mid range. So we were using the Insider in order to control the uh, Silverline internally, but the new Architect software is very smooth, well updated, looks cool and modern, and it's very smooth and visually really fun to look at. And also the mid-range control also is usable in the Architect, even on the standard and the special. So for the demo, I was using three guitar tracks, two for the rhythm, one for the lead. The first guitar track, the rhythm guitar, I was running this guitar into the EL84 response. And the second one, I was using a Telecaster into a KT88. And then for the lead guitar, I was using this Les Paul into the EL34 response. For the EL84, has that nice juicy, sits well in the mix tone, and it sounds like this. <laughs> I set the bass in mid around one o'clock and then the treble a little bit uh, lower than noon. Just to kind of sit back in the mix, it doesn't get too in your face. It sounds really good and juicy. Perfect for that rhythm guitar tone. So for the second guitar, I was using the Telecaster into the KT88 response into the Super Crunch. So you could hear that tone like this. Real nice and twangy. As you can see, I lowered the bass, raised the mid-range and treble around one o'clock and mid-range at two to really get that punchiness of a single coil in your face. And also the KT-88 is the least compressed response out of all the tube responses. You could get more of that open, full sounding. And having the Super Crunch kind of compensate the compression that way. So you're kind of balancing it out uh, with the Telecaster. And for the lead guitar, I'm back with my Les Paul and I ran the EL-34 response. I lowered the treble a little bit, raised the bass in mid, and in gain, a little bit around like 10 o'clock-ish because it's got a lot of gain on OD1. And also, just to have fun and pay an homage to the good old EVH tone, I put on the tape uh, echo and I made it a little bit of a slap. So what I did was I turned down the feedback to 0%. The time is at 157 millisecond. And then I just kind of set the level to where I felt it sounded good. So that, this is the tone. <laughs> So having that slapback delay really kind of fattens the tone quite a lot. So this is without. With. Where you could really hear that big wide tone as if you're in a really big open room. So this is how I set the lead tone. Thanks for watching. The Silverline is an amazing amp to really get all sorts of tone in one amp. And using the Architect really opens up even more options to change voices and switch amps and compare sounds on the fly. So it's very highly recommended. Have it in your home studio, use it live anywhere. It's an amazing amp. So for more information, please check out blackstaramps.com. Thanks for watching.